Hey, Tony the Toy Collector here. Today I'm going to show you all of my Blu-ray pickups for the month of July. So stay tuned. So in the month of July there wasn't very much going on as far as Blu-ray releases. But we did have the Criterion sale at Barnes & Noble. And we also had the Amazon Prime Day um, sales. So let me show you what I picked up in July. Um, first up, I got the Best Buy exclusive um, Wolf Cop, the Wolf Pack. Um, I enjoy the Wolf Cop movies, and when I saw that Best Buy was releasing the um, two-pack, I picked that one up. Really nice slip cover. Okay, so from Amazon, I picked up Tom Sawyer. Now this right here is The Adventures of Tom Sawyer. Uh, I remember watching this when I was a kid um, in school. And so um, I noticed that Amazon had this for a little bit under $30, and I got this one. Um, the Warner Archive releases are a little bit more pricey, but I wanted to be sure to, to pick this up. Um, for Amazon Prime, I picked up um, The Houses, the October Built um, Part 2. Um, I really enjoyed the first one, and I got a pretty good deal on this one from Amazon, so I got this one with a slipcover. Um, I also got The Man from Snowy River. Um, this right here is another older movie. Um, never have seen this one, but I see a lot of good things about that, so I picked that one up. I also got the Veronica Mars um, movie that came out. I really enjoyed the TV show, and I never did pick up the release when this was released on Blu-ray. So I got this for a really good price from Amazon. I also picked up the 4K edition of the E.T. Um, release. Um, this came out, this is the 35th anniversary edition. I think it came out last year or maybe the year before that. Um, all I picked up that time at that time was the Steelbook. So I was glad to get a good price um, on this version. Also got a really good price on The Shape of Water and on I, Tanya. So I have not seen these two. Um, so very happy that I waited and got a good price on these. Okay, also this month I picked up Isle of Dogs. I have not had a chance to watch this yet, but I hear a lot of good things about it. So I'm glad to have this one added to my collection. I also got the Target exclusive Ready Player One. Really enjoyed this movie in the theaters. And I really liked this slipcover from Target. So I picked this one up. From Shout Factory slash Scream Factory, I picked up Return of the Living Dead Part 2. Um, this one came with the, uh, the new slipcover artwork and also with a poster. So I just got this one in this past week and glad to have this one added. I got the Equalizer 4K Steelbook from Best Buy. I really enjoyed this movie. Have not had a chance to go see um, Part 2 in the theaters um, recently, so hopefully I'll get to see that soon. But I picked up this still book here. And I also picked up a Quiet Place still book. Really enjoyed this movie in the theaters. And glad that I was able to get this Best Buy still book. Okay, from Zavi, I was able to pick up Fight Club. This is the new um, Zavi exclusive still book that was released that sold out pretty quickly. And I was fortunate enough to be able to pre order this. Really enjoy Fight Club, and I'm glad to have this on still book. Another still book from Zavi is the 4K um, edition of Gladiator. Gladiator is another one of my favorite movies. And I really like this still book and was glad to be able to pick this one up. Now this is still available um, on Zavi. So if you go to Zavi.com, um, you should be able to find this one if you're interested. And also I was able to get um, some Barnes & Noble Criterion um, sale Blu-rays. I did a video last week on these, so you can check that video out. But I got The Breakfast Club, I got Midnight Cowboy, Night of the Living Dead, Election, The Virgin Suicides, and I also got Bull Durham. So I will link the video to that. Um, I will link that video at the end of this one if you'd like to check it out. So that was all of the Blu-rays I picked up this past uh, month in July. Um, July was pretty busy as far as spending for San Diego Comic Con. So I'm very lucky that I did not have a lot of other releases this month to get. 
um, as my money was pretty tight, spending it on the Funko Pops and such. But overall, I'm very happy with what I got in July. I know that there are some movies that I wasn't able to pick up yet. I'm just waiting on a really good price for those. So hopefully I'll be able to get those soon. So please leave a comment below. Let me know which Blu-rays you were able to get this past month. Um, if you see something that I did not pick up, please leave me a comment below. Let me know which ones I should have um, that I should check out. Um, I've really been enjoying watching everybody's videos on the Criterion selections that y'all picked up. Um, looks like a lot of people got some really good deals. Hopefully I'll be able to get some more um, the next time that they have a sale. I've already got my list of the ones I want to pick up next time. So I'm looking forward to that. But I really do appreciate you watching my videos. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd really appreciate it if you would subscribe. And if you do subscribe, remember to hit that notification bell so that I can be so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and on Instagram. And like I said before, I really do appreciate you watching my videos, and we will see you next time.